Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Burhead Holiday Park where we came today to stay for one night to do the usual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but more so we needed a bit of power, didn't we, after a few... Uh... Yeah, with a few problems, but uh, we think we know what's up with that now. Yeah. Um, so we've been able to fill up the water tank, get mm -hmm. rid of the waste, get rid of the toilet waste, mm -hmm. uh, rubbish, yeah. have a nice shower each. Yeah, as you can see, I've just been in. Get everything on charge. So, um, yeah. We've got the old slow cooker out. We have, First yeah. time off grid. <laughs> well, it's, we're not really off grid now. We're on grid because we paid for this campsite, which was £24 a night for anybody who's interested. Yeah. Right on the coast. The sea is literally just behind the camera. Mm -hmm. um, a bit blustery out there at a minute, but it's going to calm down in a minute. So we'll take you out for a little look round. Mm. We've got a joint of gammon that needed using up. So I thought, well, chuck the slow cooker on while we're messing about with everything else. And yep. Jobs are good and for tea. Jointy gammon and some nice potatoes, gravy, mm. peas, mm -hmm. Ooh, Yorkshire puddings maybe. We'll see. Mm. Depends Sound. on how bothered I can be. <laughs> mm, I'm getting hungry now because it's getting on towards tea time now, isn't it? Mm. So I've just finished editing again. Uh, I'm going to upload another video. It seems to be a constant battle at the minute, doesn't mm. it? I, I'm doing three a week, but it feels like I'm doing them every day. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it is where it is, yeah. and we're enjoying yeah. doing it, and we're enjoying showing everybody around. That's the main thing. Uh, the parcel still hasn't come, so I presume the parcel's going to come tomorrow, what we're waiting for. So it looks like we'll probably have to go back to Inverness tomorrow. But for now, we'll just forget about that. Yes, we'll forget about the parcel, because parcels are just a pain. They are, a mm -hmm. real pain. Yeah, but Zach's down here, he's happy, because he can use as much power as he likes, because we're in the mains. How's that gallon looking? Yeah, it's looking good. But yeah, it's mainly statics on this side. As you can see the sea's just out there. And uh, we're going to take you for a little look out there in a minute and then down to the harbour later. Eh? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So it looks like the gammon's ready and the potatoes. Look at that, just falls to bits that gammon. We've got no peas though because we've got to get some. We've only just been shopping today and all. I didn't realise we hadn't got any left to be fair. When you start writing things down. We need we... to start writing the shopping list, we do, I agree. We are rubbish at shopping. No we're not, because we do get some essentials. Oh yeah, we remembered the wine. <laughs> remembered the wine. Yep. I bet you're ready for a bit of gravy, aren't you, Bones Potatoes? Oh yeah, I don't mind a bit of gravy and potatoes with my dry biscuits, Dad. Mm. I have just delayed his tea, Tad, so we can have some potatoes and gravy. Oh yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry. Oh, that was a beautiful tea. Good, good. Oh, I'm stuffed now. That gammon was proper nice. It was, and look, somebody's ready for his tea, aren't you? Oh yeah. Now, uh, if you don't know, Wayley had a liver construction when he was younger, so he can't really have meat. But we do give him a little bit of gravy and a bit of mash with his biscuits now and again, don't we? Yeah. So I don't feel left out. Look at his face, look. <laughs> oh, I can almost taste it. And then we're going to go for you-know-what afterwards. But I'm not going to say it. Mind you, I don't think it'll matter. I don't think he'll even hear it at the minute. <laughs> He's too focused on this. Walkies. Look. No, you're all right. Cheers, Dad. Walkies. Uh, oh, walkies or biscuits. Um... Well, that's confused him. <laughs> we get that down, you do. And then we can go for a little wander down to the harbour. You ready? Oh, I'm born ready, me, Mum. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <gasps> We're going to head down the beach. Hopefully you can hear us, because it's a bit windy. Yeah. And uh, the tide's gone out, so we're going to try and go across that way and up that ramp over there. Oh, it looks bad. There's loads of rocks and things. But oh, yeah. Look what's going off in front of us. Yeah, they're... Uh, <laughs> is it kite surfing? It's not wind surfing, it's, I think it's kite surfing. Wow, what, whatever they're doing out yeah, there. Yeah, it looks great fun. Yeah. Come on. I'm coming, Mama. I'm coming. <laughs> We're going to get any cockles rope down this beach. Mm -hmm. I can't see no shells. That's normally a good sign if you can see shells. I'm going to walk down there all the way around the harbour and there's a fort over there mm -hmm. and apparently there's also somewhere you can empty your chemical toilets. Yeah, free toilet dispo chemical disposal. So, the, ooh, yeah. well, that was a bit soft <laughs> there. Soft. It's beautiful tonight, a bit, a bit windy but it's... Uh, it's not actually cold. It's not cold. And uh, 
I'm quite impressed with that site as well for the money. Very nice, it's very small and very quiet. It is, it's very quiet. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> so alright for Bill, you ain't got, got trainers on. Well, let's hope it's not very deep. If that, we're going to have to go all the way back around there. I reckon I'm going to have to walk on my heels. Walk really... Really... Oh! I got a wet foot. I made it, boo. No, it don't bother me then. I just run straight through it, though. Oh, we made it across. Come on. To nearly the harbour. Come here. There's a couple of diggers over there. I might have to go and have a little nosey, see who they are. So apparently this part here is on park for nights. Yeah, I found it earlier. For parking with your van? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No restrictions. Can't see any. There's no signs up. Well, there is a motorhome up here. Only a couple of babbies then, look, only 13 tonners. Let's have a nosy round here. Why? Don't say no entry. You can smell the fish round here, and now it shows the toilet somewhere over here. Come part of that, it shows a wooden thing, look. At the end of a white building. Look, it's over there, look. Yeah. I'll say it is, it's only a wooden goody. There you go. I think that's really good. Whether they ever lock it or not, I don't know. So there's also toilets back there, but they are locked. Whether there's certain hours, we don't know, but they're locked at the minute. And it's currently... It's only five to seven on a weekday, so... Yeah, I would think they were probably open through the day, but locked. At, normally it's about six o'clock, isn't it, if they're going to lock them? Maybe. It's red as again. We have to go up here now. We have to go up. Why not? Shall we get up? Oh, hang on. There's some steps over here, look. Damn. Steps hidden in the corner. Just there. Oh. We have to beach here, yeah. Is. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have had them two glasses of wine and all that tea before we come <laughs> out. Oh, we got all those YouTuber friends to catch up on as well. I know. So I ain't got time to do everything anymore. <laughs> oh, Boo, are you going to make it up here? They look a bit sketchy. They do, don't they? I need a wee. We at the top. Oh boy. Oh yes. That's quite a view. That'll be good for Rob for lunch if the tide goes out any further. Yeah. So obviously the tide is going out. I don't know how you get down there to be fair. No. I can see land. All the way round. All the way round. So that must be Scotland as it goes round over there. Yeah. That's why the NC500 runs. I would say then all the way around there. Right. Up we go. Cracking view from up here. I think all steps go up even further. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Is that why we've got to go up there? Because it is on top of it. Let's, uh, let's risk it for a biscuit. That's where the path goes. Oh, Ooh, bloody hell. I'll tell you what, they've had some feet in them over the years, they've worn away. Come on then. Oh yeah, up here. It's there. So this is all designed to get us a bit fitter, hopefully. Yeah. I think it's a museum or something. Oh, wow. Burhead Visitor Centre. Oh. So this is the Burhead Visitor Centre and it looks like it doesn't shut. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's open. I can't believe 
there's people in here this time of night. Yeah. Mm. Since 12 till 4 on the door. Let's have a look up here. Oh, ah, yeah, good view up here. Yeah, obviously this is where we are and that's what you can see Scotland yeah. that's why we can't see out sea yeah. we can see Wick so Wick's that way yeah. well, it's actually points to it doesn't it over that way yeah. you can't actually see Wick but we can see Helmdale 30 miles so this bit is Burhead Pickfort so I presume it was some sort of a fort during the war. Not quite sure what sort of fort. But yeah. No midges here, lovely breeze. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. midges here. Oh, it's, it's perfect sort of weather for wandering. Told Catherine she wants to get back over there because people carrying bottles of wine up and everything. They're a private do, aren't they? Some sort of do, unless they're... <laughs> Unless they're like a cult and they're, sacri <laughs> they're sacrificing virgins or something over there. I don't know. Keep seeing You're people, intrigued now, aren't you? Keep seeing people with bottles of wine going over there. At seven o'clock at night, says it shuts at four. What's going off? Strange goings on in Scotland. <laughs> Bit of a strange graveyard, this look. No church. No church, it seems yeah. really old. Wheelie bins. <laughs> and headstones in the middle of yeah, like the, what's the path yeah how weird there's some old headstones them um. mm. see any dates on them 1868 that one yeah yeah hmm so we're heading back now we've seen all we want to see haven't we yep that's it we we saw nothing yep. and if you're from here and you wonder if we saw anything we didn't see anything <laughs> I can erase it all off the memory card. <laughs> we'll check Zach's okay now. That's it. So Scotland has it all up. No overnight parking or camping. It's not just England. Everybody says Scotland's so much easier. It is easier. It's a heck of a lot easier. But there is lots of them signs up everywhere we've looked. The thing is, if you blink, you'll miss them as well. They're not very, yes. you know. They're old signs. Yeah. And I would say this guy down here good on him yeah, quite right. <laughs> looks like he's got a nice spot there yeah. I seen him in campsite early emptying his waist so why not That's it. who's he arming nobody nope. and there's only signs along here yeah. so I presume it just means this part and not that part That's it. don't know so we're back at the van enjoying a glass of wine even yep. though I've just left my wine over there <laughs> Um, so they weren't sacrificing young virgins apparently. <laughs> it's the summer solstice. Summer solstice, which we should have known about because I read something about it on Facebook earlier. Yeah. So it's the summer solstice, and the guy in the van behind us says we can go down skim skinny di skinny dipping at eleven o'clock in the harbour. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> not, not for me. Not for me either. I I'm bet afraid. it'll be bloody freezing at eleven o'clock. <laughs> Yeah. Freezing any time of day. But well, he said they're all going down skinny dipping. I think, mm. uh, yeah, a bit strange if you ask me. <laughs> Summer saltist or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Why would you want to be naked in the harbour? In the I, freezing cold water. I don't think it's naked. I think that was just his just imagination. Imagination, yeah. Because <laughs> a bit like yours can be. <laughs> his missus says he said they were sacrificing young virgins up yeah. there as well. So it wasn't just me. So we're going to enjoy a glass of wine or two, yeah. and. Uh, catch up in the morning yeah that's yeah, things look at right we're getting ready to move aren't we uh -huh. and trying to add to a, a long list of things we now got a burning smell in the cupboard but we think it's the um charger system on board because i've had the charger switched on and there was a lot of stuff in there so i think it's maybe got a bit hot so we unplugged everything quickly didn't we Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was a ripe smell of burning it was like oh dear. Well, I thought it was coming from outside. Yeah, I thought it was coming from outside anyway. We've unplugged it and it, the burning smell is going away. So I think the charger's got a bit a bit too hot in that cupboard. Whether we've got a bit too much stuff around it, I don't know. It's one of them EC two hundred I think it's a sergeant, I think. We don't normally use it, you see, so but yeah, we're just packing away now. We're at the eleventh hour because we should be off site in like uh, one minute ago. 
and we're going to need to go and find somewhere to park up for a bit. One of them days. It was one of them days. <coughs> we're full of pink flush in there. Catherine's just got it all down her leg. <laughs> I'm glad I don't empty the toilet. At least that's all it was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least that's all it was. Uh, I don't know, it just looks, like, door, please. just looks like pink flush, whether it's pipes leaking or weren't quite in properly, I don't know. Hey, another job to do. But we've had an update on the parcel and it now says it's out for delivery today. So we're going to head back to Inverness, aren't we? And uh, I think we're going to go to go out now and have a look at these cabots as well, are we there? Yeah. We've been thinking about a Cadet for ages. Although we haven't got an external gas point, so that's something else we'll have to get done. But for now, I think we need to concentrate on all the repairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, the van started perfect. Sure. So we think it's time we join the Cadet Club. So we've come to go outdoors because we've got them on offer, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, we, f we, we think we want a Cadet. I've we? wanted one for quite some time. We think it's time to try a Cadet. Yes. Now one problem is, is we haven't got an external gas point, mm. so that's something we're going to have to have fitted, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's go and have a look what they've got. Let's just see. Come on, babe. Let, we'll end up buying one, won't we? Yep. If they do food over there, look, and I'm hungry. Mm. I'm always hungry. You can't come in, Bill. I'm good to a look, I've treated a look. Treated me? Hey, extra money off, 85 quid. Yeah. It should be 99. It should have been 150 and then down to 99 and 85 when we come mm. to till. Can't fault that, grab oh, it and run. Look at her face now, she's happy she's gone now. Oh, I'm so happy. We've got nowhere to, we've got no gas point for it though. No, I know. <laughs> we'll have to have a quick looking box, see what we need. It's red as again out here and I'm hungry so I think we're going to have to go over there for something to eat. It's like a butty van. Got the Cadac. Zach's got himself a lovely milkshake. We're going to head a bit further east now, now we've got the parcel, we don't need to come back to Inverness but we do need to find somebody to fit a external gas point to the van so we're going to see if we can find somewhere on our travels somebody to fit one for us so we can get this Cadac fired up. Oh, look at this bad boy of a place. I can thank Catherine for this one. And you're allowed to stop here as well. Look at this. Look at the colour of that water. It's beautiful. My oh. find as well. My find. We're stopping here then. Yep. Yeah. Neat levelling blocks out, but. Yeah. This is our trying to stop this. Mm. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, look at that beach. Beautiful, that. Right, time to get the Cadac on. Oh no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but right over there is RAF Lozimouth, where yeah. the Eurofighters are, and also them big bad boys. We love it though. Yeah? yeah, I love seeing them. Like going yeah. to Top Gun over there, you might have Euro <laughs> fighters going up and down. You must have seen four oh. or five. And just got camera out quick enough then. Quick, quick, get the camera! <laughs> the big rig over there going past. The tide's going out well, we're going to go and see if we can find some shellfish down there later. But for now, we better get some tea on, because we're all hungry. Chilli con carne, Zach? Mmm. Yeah, that's definitely isn't it? Lovely night, tide's gone out, isn't it? Mm. Let's see what we can find. I don't think we're going to find any shellfish, because I couldn't find any shells earlier. Those people swimming. Oh, I've got a stony issue already. Really popular down here. I've got a stone in my shoe. Mm. Loads of weed. Loads of people, aren't huh? mm. Very popular here. There's a 
a lovely fish and chip shop local. A lot of people look like they've picked up fish and chips and just come and sit down here for a bit. And yeah, we've had chili con carne. We made mm. a chili, well, I made a chili con carne. I could have very easily eaten fish and chips. Yes. <laughs> they smelt very good. Can't keep eating out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pipe here and it's broken. Hmm. A broken pipe. Yeah, isn't it? Let's walk out here a bit. Let's walk down here. Where's that, where's that Aaron gone? He was sat over there. Mm, he's gone, hasn't he now? No. No, he's still there. Is he? He's eating. Oh, yeah, I can see him. He's, he's eating something. He only got some fish down there trapped. You made it. You got the keys. You got the keys. In his pocket, though. In your pocket. Do you want me to have them or? Nah, I've got pockets, so... Yeah. It's quite shallow out here, look. <laughs> Beautiful. So these concrete columns here were put here during the war to act as a defence for any craft trying to land. And uh, there's a load all the way along the beach there where they've all come in eventually. Oh. Yeah, slippery rocks Those everywhere. Rock, yeah, these rocks are like butter. Try not to come through a dodgy bit here. Let's try and get over to that sand there, look. Catherine's disappeared all the way over there with keys. And he needs a pee. And I need the toilet. And the door's locked. And the door's locked. Anyway, we're going to head back to the van now, aren't we, Zach? And we might have to throw a brick through the window. No, we won't. I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Here is the realities of van life. Look, <laughs> a mess all over the side. Yep. We need to do the dishes. Zach's already on his laptop. He was up at six o'clock this morning, wasn't you? He blooming was. Six o'clock? He never gets up before about 11. Mm. What about you, Boo? You all right, Dad? Yeah, I'm all right, Dad, yeah. Anyway, we want to get cleaned up. Hey, oh, sun's coming out now, it's been raining. We want to get cleaned up this morning and then we're going to head off a little bit further and uh, see what we can find. I think we found a couple of castles and bits and pieces we can go to, haven't we? Yeah. Well, I'll make a change. Maybe somewhere we can get the drone up because obviously we can't get the drone up here because of the RAF base. Sounds filled kettle because we're having a bit of trouble with water eater. Sometimes it'll fire up, sometimes it won't. Yeah, and it's not plain ball. I think it needs morning. a bit of a coat of looking at, a bit like everything else. <laughs> How's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the solar now. We're getting quite a bit of solar now. So, yeah, we're going to get the van cleaned up ready. So, I think we're going to end this video here. And then, if you want to see the castle and bits and pieces, what we're going to go and visit, you'll have to tune into the next one, won't we? Oh, I'm afraid they will. You will. Anyway, thank everybody for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.